Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter playing a round of golf on PGA Tour 2K23. Now this time I'm going to be playing at T TPC Sawgrass, playing as uh, Xander Schofley, who is currently leading. He's one shot ahead of Wyndham Clark and playing some super golf. So I thought today I would play the fourth round pin positions on TPC Sawgrass as Xander and I'll see how I compare with what he shoots today. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Now I find this opening hole a little bit tricky to hit the fairway. It's not the widest of fairways. I think that could be actually no, that could be okay yep good drive hundred and four yards to go mm, perfect log wedge if there was no wind let's just take some of the loft off Needs a big bounce. That's unlucky. It's just a par. Par five second. Let's see if I can hit a draw and take it around those trees. not turning enough hopefully it'll stay on the fairway needs to slow down well wow, that was inch perfect 179 to go I think I'm just gonna play for the middle of the green to be honest wind behind the nine iron is looking pretty good like I say, just middle of the green, two putt, birdie, move on to the next. Ooh, that's a little bit slow. Needs to go. Go. Yeah, that's fine. Stay there. Yes, great eagle. One eight four. I'm going to club down here. Hit the eight iron. It's a difficult pin position. pushed it it's coming back a little bit on the wind stay there stay there now oh, it's gone oh so nearly a good shot
Oh, that's not hard enough. Now, on the subject of pin positions, I'm not sure how accurate these pin positions are. I selected pin position four, but like I say, I'm not sure if um, if this will truly reflect what they will be using today. I've not seen any of the television coverage yet. Um, I will be doing a bit later. I wonder if a driver's... Yeah, a driver might be a little bit too much. I'm going to just hit the three wood. Oh, what a terrible swing. This is not a good start. Need to find the rhythm. That's a terrible lie. That's, that might, if it gets a good bounce, that might roll down towards the hole. Here she goes. Could do with it slowing down now, though. Put right into the centre of the hole. Nice birdie coming out of the bunker as well. Put a touch of fade on this one. Oh, I've hit it fast. So determined. That should be okay, actually, but I'm so determined not to hit that one slow. It's gone too far right. Needs a nice bounce to the left. Oh, it just went the other way. That's going to be a tricky little chip. I really don't like those very short chips. Just a par. Okay. Sixth hole. I'm going to hit the driver, but I suspect it will end up in that area of rough just up ahead, assuming I put a good swing on it. But I haven't got far to go after that. a little bit right oh, took a nice bounce oh and it made it through the rough that's a great shot hmm awkward length though 43 yards let's go with a flop shot I think that's a bit fast needs to bite it's not too bad. Oh, 
Yeah, good birdie. Four under out of six. The seventh hole. The fairway gets really narrow here. I'm not sure if I've... Well, I hardly ever, whenever I play this hole, I hardly ever hit the fairway. I'm either in one of those two bunkers, left or right, or even in the water. It's such a tough tee shot, this one. Now, with a kind bounce, that could be quite good. Yes. A little bit left. Good for distance. That's a super putt. He's on a bit of a roll. Five wood, I would say. It's probably about the right club here. Especially with that wind. Oh, that's gone left. I've got a very nice bounce. Outside chance for birdie. I think realistically we're probably looking at a par here though. Turn, turn. Ah, oh, I didn't take the break. Misread that one. Turned a lot when he got past the hole, though. Not the easiest of par threes, that one. No, par five, ninth cracking hole, this one. Wind off the right. Three thirty five. Got two thirty nine to go. Five wood. Ball slightly below my feet. Oh, missed that bunker. I think it's going straight in the sand. God, oh, man, I couldn't have done that if I tried. <laughs> One of the smallest bunkers on the course, and I've hit it. I'm only 12 yards from the pin. It's not a very good lie, though. Stop, stop, it's not bad. That's six under through nine, that's that's pretty pretty healthy. Four fourteen. I'm gonna hit the driver here, but I'm gonna take a lot of the loft off.
Oh no, that's a terrible swing. That's in massive trouble. Oh, that tree may have done me a... Oh no, maybe not. I wonder how much I can hook the ball coming out of the sand. Not enough. It's short as well. This is going to be a tough par from here. There's a lot of ground to carry before I get to the green. Really not sure about this. It's not a very good lie. That's a fantastic bunker shot. That's a good par save after such a terrible tee shot. Another great hole, lovely par five. Oh, that branch is in the way, so I'm going to have to hit a fade here, take it around that overhanging branch. Oops, stay on the fairway. 207 to go. Again, I'm just going to try and go for the middle of the green. If I go aggressive straight at the flag, it's very close to that right edge, and you can see that severe slope take it down into the bunker. So I'm just going to try and play for the middle of the green. Wind behind. Yeah, I'll stick with the six iron, I think. Ah, terrible swing. Oh, jeepers. Come on. It's a great chip. Mm, it's a bit slow. I think it'll be okay. It just depends if it runs out of fairway or not. Oh, that might be blocked out by the trees. No, I just about got away with that. Yeah, my swing has gone to pot now for some reason. I've lost my rhythm. Okay, outside chance of a birdie. Back up the hill. No. Slight misread. It's a really difficult pin placement. Mm. 
not a good time to have a bad swing. Pushed it a fraction and the wind's going to take it. It's on the green, but that is going to be an extremely difficult putt. Yeah. This could go easily off the green the other side. Just need to get it to the top of that hill if I can and then let gravity do its thing. First part of the putt is uphill. This is a scary, scary putt. Nope. Poor effort. This is not easy either. Well, that's a great recovery. I was in a bit of trouble there. Managed to maintain the par. No. Oh, good bounce. 147 to go. Wind behind. Slightly uphill when you get to the green there, so it's not going to run very far. I think I'm going to go with the pitching wedge, but I'm going to increase the loft quite a bit. Nope. Not swinging well now. I'm hitting the greens, but I'm leaving myself long putts. This one's downhill, it's going to be fairly quick on these fast greens. Bit of a double breaker. Come back, come back, it's not coming back. That's okay, I'm not dropping shots, and that's the most important thing. Some more birdies would be nice though. I'm gonna now this is I was gonna hit a fade and then I looked at that tree just in front of me on the left. Which makes the fade a very risky shot indeed. That should be fine. Hundred and twenty to go. Oh, that's going to go left. That's in trouble. Oh, it stopped very quickly. I'm going to putt that one, I think. Looking good. Oh, slow down. Slow down. Oh, 
Safe par. Not many birdies on this back nine. Now then, par 5, 16th. Wind off the left. It's not ideal. I'm going to go with the draw, though. Actually, I've got a three wood in my hand. I've just noticed. Let's change that to a driver. And we want that big draw. We're going to be drawing it into the wind, which makes it harder. Oh, missed the tree. That's tight. Oh, I think I may have got away with that. Hundred and ninety-three to go. It's a tricky pin position because you can see it's right on a slope. There, look, it's right on a slope, so it's going to be a tough one to get it close. But to be fair, it is a par five, so if I can just get it on the green, give myself an opportunity. I think I might go with the seven iron here. I really, really need a good swing on this. Ball is slightly below my feet. It's a touch slow. That could be in trouble. Oh no. Oh, that got a bounce left. A bounce left and a bounce forward. That's going to be a long putt and a tricky one at that. Big right to left swing on this one. I'll do well to two putt this, to be honest. Let's put the flag in. If I get this within, say, five or six feet, I'm probably doing pretty well. That's a scary slope. <laughs> I think I may have hit that too hard. Slow down. Slow down. Hit the hole. Hit the hole. Hit. Ooh. Look at it go. Oh, no. That's almost an impossible putt, to be fair, that one. Ah, oh, good try. Just a par though. I can't seem to get a birdie on this back nine. We got the tough 17th island hole coming up. This is possibly one of the most famous par threes in golf. Wind off the right, flag on the right. This is going to be difficult. I haven't really got the right club. A gap wedge goes 132 yards. Pitching wedge is 150. I think I'm going to have to hit the pitching wedge. But increase the loft quite a bit. That wind as well. This is so tough. So, so tough. Wind's got it. Not a bad swing, but the wind took it. Oh, this is quick. This is very, very quick. Again, just get it to the top of that hill and let gravity do its thing. Don't want to leave it short, though, but it's such a tough putt. downhill all the way but then just past the aim marker it gets really steep
Slow down. Slow down. Oh no. Oh man. It's a shame you can't put backspin on a chip. Well, that's a great putt to save par. I was in all sorts of trouble there. 16 and 17 are pin positions are extremely difficult. But to be fair, that's what you want on the final day of a huge championship. Good drive up the final hole. 121 to go. Gonna go with a sand wedge. Ah, that's a bit left. Get down, get down. Let's see if we can finish with with a birdie. It's 13 feet, slightly uphill. Oh, what a finish! Eight under. Well, if Xander can shoot that this afternoon, I don't think anyone's going to catch him. Well, I wish Xander all the very best for later on today. Um, he's a great player. I have a lot of respect for him. But I have to say, I'm really hoping that Matthew Fitzpatrick can come through. He's lying fourth at the moment at minus 13 so Matthew's going to have to have a really strong 18 holes today if he's going to catch the leader but um, I wish them all the best of luck anyway thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I would really really appreciate it well take care everyone and I will see you again soon bye bye now